We need a person. Because I need to know which direction she's going to push. Remember that? If she pushes this direction like she's supposed to, there's a moment arm that she starts with. Why do I shift a moment arm? I said we use whichever one's easiest, and I think that's easiest. What happened? Well, she straightened her arm, and now she's actually pushing a different direction. So the moment arm is here now. What happened to the moment arm of effort this time? It fell off. Got harder, got harder, got harder. In one place, it got easier. In the end, this machine gets harder. More magnitude from start to finish. But not as dramatic as it was when I bought it. That's just my thing. I need you to see how this works on a linkage system to some degree. This is usually the most challenging thing for people. And in all honesty, all it is is a bunch of effort, access, resistance. Resistance, effort, access. It's all it is. It's a little bit of keeping track of it. And I think the toughest part for people is the metal's not straight. They're sitting here looking at a bent piece of metal and the lever arm is somewhere in the air. I really think that's the hardest part because when I put those up there, in the class I'll take tape and I'll put tape there and people are like, oh yeah, see that was in there the whole time. It's in the whole thing. Ever seen one of those pictures where it's got some drawing of like here's an elephant and a monkey and a banana and a tree and all that stuff? And somewhere in there it's like, find the hammer, find the wrench, find the, in the hidden picture. Well, all this physics and all these lines, lever arms, all that stuff, they're just hidden in here. You gotta stop being distracted by all the other lines and work through it like an ant, step by step. And if you got here and all of a sudden went to here, and I've had people do that, that was not a crawl across stuff. That was not an ant, okay? Unless it was one of those queen, and she's got the wings and stuff. I don't know. All right. But that's not the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, because we have another plane of motion. And if you're really going to pay attention to the strength profiles and resistance profiles and where the load actually falls through the joint, these converging axis machines don't allow for that because their resistance does not go straight back. This is the way the machine moves. Through her hand is a resistance that goes out that direction. And that resistance falls through this joint and has a moment arm to this joint. So we would have to draw that moment arm to the shoulder over there, right? To the elbow would be, well, it's about through it. Okay, what's the big deal? Well, I think I have a picture here of what happens when her arm is straight because this force does not necessarily, if this is the resistance, if, if this is the resistance, it does not fall through her arm. It is not balanced. Or is it? This is actually an important piece of how we use it. If she's pushing this direction exactly, then that is the resistance. But what direction is she pushing here? Chances are she's pushing that way. What does that do? Well, just like if you change your direction of push here, you get a resultant that probably includes...